You see this on the squad screen, what are you doing? Great strike from Dresigay, wasn't it? We'll catch it from this angle, we'll see it a lot better from here. Go on! Finish him! Finish him! The top comment on Footpin right now, finally a good Egyptian in the Prem. <laughs> also top comment on Footpin right now, better than Icon Trezeguet. Actually, not a lie. Arabic 101, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. What's up, big boys, and welcome to the Muhammad Trezeguet, aka, that is not his real name. His real name is Muhammad uh, Ahmed Ibrahim Hassan, and his nickname is also, also Trezeguet, given that he uh, has a similar play style. Apparently, one of his, one of his youth coaches uh, gave him that nickname, so his, his name actually is not Trezeguet. It's Muhammad Ahmed Ibrahim Hassan. So, uh, he is from Egypt, he's Egyptian, uh, and like the footbin comment said, finally, a usable, premier, uh, usable Egyptian player in the Premier League. Now, this is a core of a million coin SBC, so I'm not sure how to feel about it quite yet. Uh, fairly expensive, but having looked at the stats right off the bat, it does look like a pretty mad card. And the point of this epi, the point of every epi that we look at players' wave views, uh, we find out maybe if the card is worth the quarter of a million coins, whether it's worth 50,000 coins, whether it's worth half a million, or possibly even a million coins. Uh, but that is what we're going to find out in today's episode of today. But like I always say, boys, if you guys do enjoy the epi, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, another thing we're going to pay attention to today is the nerfing, the apparent nerfing of overload ball side. Uh, if we come up against any opponents that are running that formation or that tactic, we're going to see if their team exhausts a little bit more or seems to exhaust a little bit more quickly. Uh, I'm personally of the opinion that um, overload ball side should be removed entirely from the game. I get that we need avenues or we need tactics to be able to custom tailor our game to as many details as we want. I mean, like, there's millions millions of, there's thousands of configurations in terms of what you want to run, uh, and then there's only a few things that are meta, and then, unfortunately, a lot of people run that overload the ball side, and it's just a very boring play style to come against. But we move, and we try to find a counter. But like I said, today it is all about this Muhammad Ahmed Ibrahim Hassan, a.k.a. Trezeguet. Now, it is a massive upgrade over his base card, basically an unusable. Uh, had you started him at the beginning of the game, he was one of the more cheap players, 84 pace, 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, which is obviously what we're going to start with right here. Uh, has the high medium work rates, and uh, there's... There's a lot to like about the card. You know, the, the 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 price tag is pretty damn steep. But if you if you look at Egyptian, if you look at Premier League, um, if you look at the four star skill moves and the five star weak foot, and then we start taking a glance at some of these stats: 86 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, uh, 87 finishing. The attacking positioning leaves a little bit to be desired. But for the first time in FIFA, I think I'm just gonna stick with the basic chem style because not only do we get the sprint speed up to 95, but the agility goes up to 95, ball control goes up to 95, and dribbling gets maxed out to 99. Stamina is 90. Strength is pretty decent even that gets jacked off over 80 jumping goes up to 80 uh and then the passing stats are uh, are fine as is so we're actually going to try out the basic chem style today and uh see if uh see if that actually might be a pretty decent option decent shot power and actually really good long shots so really does look like a really solid center forward option now in terms of putting him into a squad, we had to go with Ionas Haji. Uh, sorry, we have to go with George Haji. Uh, we're going with him as a center forward, and then we are going to go with Mohamed Salah. If you're running a Trezeguet, if you're running that, uh, if you're running that card, of course you have to link him into the Egyptian Mohamed Salah, none other than Mohamed Salah. So we're going to get into a few games here. We're going to switch to the four-one-two-one-two. We're going to have Trez as our left striker. We're going to have Salah as our right striker, and then we're going to have Haji as a cam. We're going to see how he plays in that position. Match number one with this Mohamed Has. Let's, can we just call him Trezeguet? Hel hadi al bitakatuf al umin aikun ikon Trezeguet. The absolute audacity. 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 What that man just did to my PK should be a criminal offense. Should be a borderline arrestable offense. Esa pelota es buena, cuidado. Trez. Bernardo Silva. Dica Hagi. Ojo con este pase y ahora. 
Come on, bro. Is that our first shot on target? 30 minutes in, first shot on target. The one thing that needs to be said about Trezeguet, he has incredible hair. I might be the only person that looks at this card and, and says that comment. Might have no relevance to his in-game performance, but damn it, dude. This guy's got some, like, nuts-looking hair. He's like a... He's like an Egyptian ginger. And he's gorgeous. Wait, what? Leroy Sané. The absolute audacity. That was dirty. Uh, there's nothing I can say there. His Leroy Sané just absolutely... Whoever, whoever that defender was, I think that was my Mendy. He absolutely just sent my Mendy to the freaking corner shop. Se mete muy bien en la línea de pase para quitarlo. Sané. Quitarlo. Este es George Hagi. Ya entramos en los últimos 20 minutos de partido. Que le saquen la alfombra roja. Puede llegar a descuento. Come on, Trez. Enough of this BS, dude. Ahí se lleva la bocha tranquilo. Ahí la lleva Hagi. That has to be it. That was it. That was the equalizer. Actually gives his further forward on that left hand side now, isn't he? The attack down the flanks is Oxlade Chamberlain. Passing away from Rodriguez. No Salah is in. Salah for Liverpool. He's got Let's go! Mohamed Salah! The Egyptian Messi! Come on! We got the uh, we got the Egyptian we got the Egyptian Salah and then we've got the Egyptian Messi in the same squad. Mohamed Salah with his weak foot too. Come on, boys. I'll, hey, sometimes you gotta take a draw. Hey, he was time wasting. He was trying to kill off the game, and you wanna know what? That's fine. Hey, everyone's got a. Everyone that has their own play style. I respect it. But for me, this two-two victory, this two-two draw, that's that's a dub. That's a dub for me, dude. Ref, grow a set. Look, the absolute audacity of the ref to call that. That. We had a game winner in us in that one. 90th minute. Uh, we get a goal from Mohamed Salah. We get a goal from Mohamed E. Hassan, uh, A.K. Trezeguet. Um, dude, I honestly can't believe it. I can't freaking believe it. He's looking over at the card like, holy smokes. Trezeguet, 9.1, gets himself a goal and assist. Mohamed Salah gets himself a goal and assist. The Egyptian boys step up to the plate. 24 out of 20. Dribbles completed. 20 for 21 for Mohamed Salah. A game where we were forced to be a little bit patient. A, a very annoying game to play, I might add as well. But a game, nonetheless, that we were forced to play very, very patiently. So here's Trezeguet uh, showcasing a little bit of the dribbling. That's probably one of my uh, favorite skill moves in the game so far. Completely lost his Soul Campbell card. That is, on an, that is against an icon card right there so um did a little bit of that Trezeguet and then literally just a fake shot to get rid of uh Sol Campbell and then a beautiful beautiful little finish there with the right foot obviously he's five star weak foot so I don't suppose it uh fully matters but an incredible incredible set of hair and a, a decent I'm not gonna say an incredible first match obviously he didn't only scored one goal provided one assist but two goal contributions uh for both uh Mohamed Salah and then also uh this Trezeguet let's get into match number two let's see if the lad has a hattie in him we're gonna go Ramos PK and then we're gonna take off Iran and we're gonna put on uh we're gonna put on Florenzi I, I, I feel and now I feel like Ramos is maybe a little bit wasted in the midfield. I'm gonna try him out at center back next to uh, next to Peacock. Time for what to do now and how with your host Patricia. Really? Thanks, PK. Hey, PK, thank you so much for the effort. Thank you for thank you for putting that effort, dude. I really uh, I really appreciate you putting your life on the line there. Nice balance. Están llevando la pelota de un lado a otro. Están mareando al rival. 
Haji. Haji. Oh, come on, Haji. There we go. That's 2 1. That's Trez, and that's Haji. Build up play between uh, Haji and Trez again. I think we're finally warming up. Now, I don't know if it's because we're getting towards the end of an XP cycle. We've got nine days left on the current season. I don't know if pe people are being more sweaty, but bro, wow. <laughs> Was that his Varan? My Trezeguet absolutely sent his run to the shop. Dude, can you can we please recognize the hair? George, oh, George Haji, come on. This game sucks! Fairly clinical in front of the net. Dribbling feels good. I feel like going back, I probably would have actually slapped a... I probably would have slapped a Hawkeye, uh, Hawkeye chem style on him to get those stats jacked off. Um, Haji feels absolutely incredible. Is that Salah? Okay, we're going to give it to Haji right here. And then what are we going to do? George Haji, let this be a mini's way view for the Prime Icon Moments George Haji card. An absolute legend. Yeah, sometimes you got to sweat it out. Sometimes you got to sweat it out. I'm sorry, my man. So I think that's two goals and an assist in this match with uh, with Trezeguet. There's the Worm Eater, hugging it out with Frank Lamps. Passes completed, 24 out of 25, 2 out of 3 shots. Dribbles, 18 out of 32. Is that what did it? 18 out of 32 dribbles completed. Maybe that's what took his rating down, but... All right, boys, so what do we have? We got a Prime Mix Players Pack and a Rare Electrum Players Pack. So a Prime Mix Players Pack and a Rare Electrum Player Pack. So uh, on the pitch performance, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 on the pitch performance. Very good finishing, very good dribbling. Never really expected anything from these. Didn't get anything uh, Didn't get anything to speak about. Spain, can we guess it? Kepa? Yeah, Kepa Reis Bilaga. Uh, four, star, uh, four star in terms of on the pitch performance. The five star weak foot, the four star skill moves. Really, really good dribbling stats. Uh, way more way uh, more than enough stamina than you could ever ask for. The only thing I suppose I would ask for is maybe a little bit more acceleration, but uh, one of the reasons that I would use the Hawkeye Chem style. In terms, of on the, in terms of value for the SBC, I would give it a three out of five. And again, the reason I'm giving it three out of five is it's a very, very good card. I don't want, I don't want to take away anything from the, the card actually being good. Uh, but uh, I... There, there's a lot of tradable options right now, and we're getting into that territory where unless, like I said, you're running a Premier League side and one of your objectives is maybe to run a first owner or maybe to have a full SBC or, you know, maybe you run an Egyptian side or maybe you're just fully committed to the Premier League, then I think this is definitely, uh, this is a card to look at. But it is, a, is it a must complete by any means? I would definitely say no. But uh, I know for a fact that my Villa supporters, up the Villa, I know that my Egyptian supporters, Hel Hadi Albita Katuf Um Alamin Aikun Ikon Trezege, uh, I know you guys are getting this card done in a hot minute. If you guys did enjoy, like I always say, boys, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But I will leave you guys with it. What is it? The Rare Electrum Player Pack? We've got the Rare Electrum Player Pack. I'm not expecting too much from this. My, uh, my SPC packs have been absolutely dreadful lately. And it looks like it's going to be back-to-back -back boards. Is it going to be? Yeah, it's going to be back-to-back -back boards. I thought hopefully maybe we'd get a Argentina. It is going to be a Cardi? Hey, no, Lauturo. Lauturo Martinez. So we get an uh, 84, and then we get whatever the hell we got in the last pack. But uh, like I said, boys, that's going to do it for the epi. Going to be streaming over on Mixer tonight. I'm 4K away, 4K XP away from Akanji. If you guys want to see me unlock that, uh, we'll do some drafts as well as some uh, rivals grinding. But that is going to do it for the episode, boys. Like I said, hopefully you have enjoyed. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.